All right, if you love the glamour of the 1950s and you want to take a gorgeous fever dream, Matt Parent has your movie review of Phantom Thread. Welcome to a post-Super Bowl Monday. I hope that everyone who had to call in sick is recovering nicely. Congrats, Eagles. Well, as always, Super Bowl weekend was an extremely slow weekend at the box office, but Columbia must have listened to me last week because my last unseen Oscar Best Picture nominee arrived in the capital city. So is it worth the nomination? Here's my take on Phantom Thread. Our film begins in 1950s London. Reynolds Woodcock, portrayed by Daniel Day-Lewis, is an eccentric dressmaker for everybody who is anybody. From actresses to dames to royal Royalty, he makes all their dresses for all their functions and his reputation is widespread. He's a lifelong bachelor who uses women for inspiration. Then he meets Alma, played by Vicky Creeps. She's a strong-willed woman whom he immediately begins to fancy. After a dinner, he begins to use her as a model, making dresses for her and using her in his fashion shows. As their relationship grows, Reynolds finds his world turning upside down. Reynolds is quirky, to say the least. He has rules that he doesn't like broken and he feels that he may be cursed in love. As a result, he becomes withdrawn drawn into himself, and although he has unbridled feelings for Alma, he is not about to let them be known. He has to keep himself from being hurt, and in order to do that, he refuses to engage her on any sort of emotional level. Needless to say, this creates a rift with her that with her strong-willed personality, she's determined to try to overcome. As the movie progresses, we see the two constantly butting heads, but at the same time becoming more enamored with each other. So we see our two main characters hit an impasse, with Alma refusing to let herself be pushed away, and Reynolds trying to figure out how to do his work and and keep his reputation while still trying to figure out his own feelings with Alma. Suddenly the movie takes an interesting turn that it's safe to say no one in the audience will see coming. So what to say about this one? Going in I had no idea what to expect except a strong Oscar worthy performance from Daniel Day Lewis. As far as the movie itself goes, even though I expected nothing, the film is nothing like I expected. As I imagined it is very slow out of the gates and although it speeds up a little it never really reaches cruising velocity. The dialogue is sparse and delivered at a snail's pace. In fact, most of the movie is driven by the classical score that is constantly playing behind it. It's hard to find scenes without this music playing in the background. But like I said, I expected a strong performance by Daniel Day-Lewis and that it was. He's a powerful actor. I just kind of hate that he is retiring after this film. He does the character perfectly, but it just doesn't seem like he had the material to give it his all. Leslie Manville as the sister is a breath of fresh air in this film. She does an excellent job as a strong female character who, although driving the plot, manages to stay subtly in the background. All in all, the cast is fantastic. The story to me just drags, and the weird twist at the end isn't enough to make me love it. I feel that the film is a drawn-out lesson about power and vulnerability, but maybe that plays perfectly to the Oscar judges. This has been your Monday Movie Musing. Alicia, back to you. All right, I feel like I just watched the movie. Your big weather forecast with Tyler Ryan is up next.